Abba, set us on fire so that our heart will burn deep within us to encounter you with fire and devotion. Be the adoration of our hearts. Jesus, set us free from every hindrance that hold us back from knowing you, even the sacred thoughts of our hearts. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Saturday, March 9, 2024. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an every language. Hallelujah song will never cease our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is a bruise with fire. A bruise with fire. And when we first shall we find the book of Exodus 3 verse 5, I read. And he said, Do not night either. Put off the shoe from off the feet. For the place where hung thou standest is holy ground. And he said, Do not night either. Put off the shoe from off the feet. For the place where on you standeth is holy ground. In 1 King 19 verse 19, as Elijah was passing by Elisha, he cast his mantle upon him, and from that day, Elisha's life was never remained the same. Anything that the Holy Spirit has touched has been touched by fire, and when fire touched something, it changed permanently. And Exodus 3 verse 1 to 5 tells us that the fire of God touched the crown of that backside of the desert. And from that moment onward, God called it holy ground. When Moses got there, God told him to take off his shoe because the ordinary soil he had touched had become holy ground. Exodus 4, verse 1 to 20 tells us how holy the ground was because everything that touched that ground also changed permanently. So that in verse 20, the Bible says, And Moses took his wife and his son, and set her upon an ass, and he returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand. After the encounter with the fire of God, Moses left for the Egypt, and among all the things he took, he took the rod of God. The ordinary rod of a shepherd has now become the rod of God, because it touched the holy ground. Some years ago, a woman felt so ill that the doctor said there was nothing they could do to help her. Her children were advised to take her home so he could die with the family around her. The woman told her children, Don't take me home. Take me to Redeem Christian Church of God headquarters. They told her, Mama, but there is no service today. The pastor will not be there. She said, I didn't say I want to go and see the pastor. Just take me there. They took her to the church, but because she was very weak, she could not walk by herself. So she asked him to help her reach one of the pillars of the building. The moment she got to the pillar and touched it, she became permanently healed. And she walked back to the car herself. She experienced the brush with the fire of God through her feet and she became healed. There is tremendous power in anything that has touched holy ground. Don't just go for service casually. Be conscious that you are going to a place of fire. When you go to your local assembly, go with expectation and you will experience great miracle in your life. But then, I want us to read the book of Exodus 3, verse 1 to 5. On our Bible in one year, Joshua 18. Verse 20. Our hand is in one. All hail the power of Jesus' name. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Our prayer point for today Father, the next time I come into your presence, please don't let me go back home the same way I came in Jesus' name. 
Father, the next time I get into your presence, please don't let me go back home the same way I came in Jesus' name. And I pray by the special grace of God, my Father in heaven will protect you and will give you abundant plenty in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love World. Till I come here with tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Happy week.